It's not uncommon for data records to have full names, as well as other text, within a single cell. And sometimes you need those names to be broken up into multiple cells for first name, middle name, and last name. Our name parsing tool does just that in a matter of seconds. Let's look at how it works. Now here I've got a list of ownership records, for instance, and you can see the full names, as well as titles like trustee, are listed in the same cells. I'm going to export this list as a CSV file. Then I'll open up the first name, last name splitter tool. And I'll be sure to enable the content. If we click on more details, we'll see that it's asking to allow both macros and data connection, which we'll go ahead and allow. Now we're going to be asking this tool to look at a single column, even if your CSV file contains hundreds of different columns. It'll be focusing on the column that contains the full names that we'd like to parse, including entries like this, which are obviously not presentable for a letter. By default, the tool will look for this column that is titled Ownership, but if you have a different label, just be sure to define that in the tool here. And it is set up to look for last name first, then first name, but again, if your data sheet is formatted differently, just enter in that format here. Now we'll click Browse, and we'll find that file that we exported to our computer. And we'll click Import, and click OK. And we see that our CSV file has been imported, including our ownership name column with all of the unparsed full names. From here, we have a couple of options. For one, we can have the tool remove any text within parentheses. For instance, we've got text here with trustee and trustees and so on. So if we'd like the tool to remove any of these words in parentheses, we'll go ahead and select that option. And number two, we can find and replace any given text by selecting Remove Keywords. And here in this tab, we can list any keyword we'd like the tool to look for, and either delete it by replacing it with nothing here, or we can replace it with any text we'd like. You can have any number of keywords to look for in this column. So long as you have this option selected, the tool will search and replace any text, then split the names. So now we'll do that, we'll click Parse Names. And within seconds, the tool will do just that. As we can see, we've got our column here with the original entry, and we've got the name split up into first name and last name. In some cases, we had up to three different people in a single cell, and the tool has split up all three names for us. Now obviously the tool isn't always perfect here for the second and third names, but most importantly, these names for the first person in a cell have been cleanly parsed, and are in a format that you can use. Also, we don't need to save this file, the tool has already done that. In the folder where you have the tool, you'll see that a new folder named Files has been created. And there you'll find your new CSV file with the new separated name columns. And that's it. If you would like more tools, or would like us to custom tailor a tool to work for a specific need, just get in touch with us at easyexcelautomation.com and we'd be happy to develop something for you.